Hi, we are the Ohio Guys here on location in Los Angeles, California. I'm Christian Ocampo, and today I'm joined by Xanthi Huyen. How are you doing, Xanthi? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for joining me. Absolutely. So we have a few questions to ask you. First, what's it like working in the industry today? It's competitive, I guess, um, but it's all friendly, I think. Um, a lot of my friends are, you know, they're, they're the ones um, that I audition against and even if I don't get a role I I'm happy that you know it goes to somebody that I know and I know that they'll do a good job so okay. I feel like that's how it is <laughs> so what's your favorite show you have worked on favorite show um I don't know I've liked I like a lot of things about all the shows that I've been in because um, I learned something different about um, you know how to approach acting with each of them um, uh, well, hmm, okay, well, okay, let's just go with the show that I felt like I really grew with, um, it would have to be most recently A Lull in the Sea, because it had so much emotional variation in it, um, my character, she goes through a lot of really deep, dark times, and it shows her kind of maturing and go getting over these things and also um, she kind of gets into fights with her friends but then it always it um, you know it, it gives her a moment to um, to kind of grow up and think about the decisions that she's made or things that have happened and um, you know just kind of helps her to grow as a person <laughs> I don't know I'm kind of talking in circles here but no, it's fine. but yeah, I just really like the emotional journey that she goes on, uh, as she goes through. Um, she, you know, learns from the mistakes that she makes, or when she has fights with people, she always thinks about them, and, like, um, they're, they always come to some sort of resolution, or, can, uh, you know, they, they make up in the end, so. Okay. All right. So, what's it like working on Blood Lad? Blood Lad? That was a really fun show. I'm surprised that the producers let us um, get away with so much. Uh, in a way, um, I didn't get a lot to uh, get a lot of play time as some of the other actors did. Um, but we did have a lot of improv lines, or sometimes the director would rewrite a line just to, you know, make it adapt better for a Western or English-speaking audience. And um, we added a lot of little things here and there that weren't in the Japanese that I thought were brilliant and they were really funny and um, sometimes we got in trouble and we had to re-record certain lines because the, the producers would say, you know, that's a little bit stretching for, for that particular character, but it, in the end, um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, my character for Yumi, she was kind of like the straight character in that show but because of that it, a lot of jokes are played off of her which I thought were really fun um, yeah okay so since you mentioned Alone in the Sea what was it like working on it if you have more to say to that show I have to say it was for me it was um, really how do I describe it it was at times really heavy because I'd have like you know two three hour sessions where my character is just crying for an episode or just like going through this um, wave of emotions like she's going through so much loss or having to deal with um, issues that were very mature especially for a character so young and I would leave my sessions feeling you know residually very very heavy inside but um, I'm glad that you know she she learns to get over these things or kind of um, you, you know mature like and understand why she's feeling the way she does um, with the help of the other characters. So I mean, I think it was worth it. I worked really hard in that show. <laughs> this is a good show. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So if you can be any character you have played, who will you be? And you can mix and match. <laughs> Who would I be? It's a fun uh, question. Oh no. Um, <sighs> probably from uh, 
video game that I did. Um, this character, Falcom, from the Hyperdimension Neptunia series. Uh, she's really awesome because she's just a sword-wielding badass, and she's just really cool. And I wasn't ready for that. Hey guys, so I'm all the song here. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to cut that anyways. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so go on. You, yeah. I don't right. know where I was going now. Oh, yeah. You're talking about like <laughs> any character you want to make some match? Oh, that's right. I don't know if I should start again. Um, so I. I chose Falcom from the Hyperdimension Neptunia series just because she's really cool and she's an ad a wandering adventurer. She's really strong and she's, she's so cool. You know, who doesn't want to be like a sword wielding badass? You know? <laughs> yeah. All right. Another show you worked on that just came out. What was it like working on Yuki Yuna as a hero? Yuki Yuna. Uh, the, I absolutely adore that show. Um, it it's so different than what you would think from um, Magical Girl series. Um, I know a lot of people kind of compare it to Madoka, but I feel like besides the fact that they're both Magical Girl genre shows, the storyline is very different. The approach is very different. Um, I love that the um, show has moments where the girls are just being normal girls. They hang out. They um, have fun together, they work and help their, with their community, and then they just have, you know, moments where they're called to, you know, fight these creatures that are coming to attack their town uh, and um, kind of try to save the world. And I, I think the characters, even though, you know, they kind of like transform into this other mode, they're still very much themselves. They're very dedicated to each other and to the cause. And um, I love that Yuki Yuna just likes to power through things. Uh, she's, she's all about um, getting things done and about um, not giving up. So. Right. This is a good show, I saw it. Oh, yay! Number two, she heard a fist. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was the best part, and she didn't learn from it, and she did it again and hurt herself again. So, <laughs> so. Uh, another cute show you worked on, while well, I started working on Kayon. Kayon, oh, I, you know, I really like that my character Ui, uh, in particular, just kind of has this little obsession with her sister. It's so adorable, and at times, and she, she just spoils her to death. She just lets her do whatever she wants, and she never gets mad at her. She just thinks it's everything that her sister does is adorable, and she just encourage, encourages her to do whatever she wants which I think is really nice. I feel like we all need somebody like that in our life that kind of supports us and gives us advice and help. Um, I think the show itself is um, really lighthearted and fun and just kind of shows people you know, hanging out and having uh, doing something they, that they love together. And like I said, I feel like we all need somebody like that, you know, and like a hobby to do that, you know, keeps life fun. <laughs> Another early show worked on what was like working on the Familiar of Zero. Familiar of Zero, that was a fun show too. Um, Sista was, you know, she she was also is in similar ways. She's kind of like she's kind of like the supportive character. She's kind of helping uh, Saito to kind of um, get adjusted to his new life because he's, you know all of a sudden transported to this other world that's sort of medievalish compared to the city life that he was used to. And she's um, very kind, despite like her position in that society. Um, she, you know, she's, it's kind of interesting how she's, she, you know, she kind of has a crush on him, but then she kind of seems like she's acting very forward, but in a very, uh, undertone way about like you know wanting to get with him but then not being very upfront about it I guess she's very but, quiet yes so. but she's very sweet and I really like that about her all right so is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything you want to plug in just anything you want to say 
Hmm. It's funny. And these. Yeah. Uh, I have a really big project um, coming out at some point. Uh, but yes, I can't say anything about it. But I hope that um, when it comes out, I hope you'll all be very excited about it. All right. So last question, and we asked this to all the voice actors. Any Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media for the fans to get a hold of you? Uh, yes, I, I do have a Facebook fan page. Please uh, like there to see um, updates on what I've been working on. I also have a YouTube channel that I put random things on. I'm also on Twitter if you want to ask me something or just chat with me. Um, but yeah, find me. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to thank you for joining us for the interview. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ohio guys, for having me. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. All right, everyone, and thank you, too, for joining us for another edition of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian Ocampo. And I'm Xanthi. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.